All right guys, to make rosti, it's very simple. All you need is potatoes. So just some, I've got some roasted potatoes over here that have been peeled and washed. And that's about it. I've got some um, ice cold water over here with no ice. And we're going to peel the potatoes. So we're going to grate the potatoes directly inside the water. And uh, that way they won't oxidize. So once your potatoes have been grated into the ice water right here like this so all you do is get any um, sieve over here and all you're trying to do is go over to the sink and squeeze all the water out of it and we're going to season them afterwards all right so once you have squeezed out all the water from your potatoes and uh, you know they're nice and dry so all we're doing is putting it back in our bowl over here and we're just going to season them that's it with some salt this is so simple to make all we're doing is just adding some salt and some pepper over here I'm just going to put a little bit of oil over here as well. Not too much. And we're just going to mix it. You don't need to put anything else. You don't need to put any starches or, you know, cornstarch or anything else or egg because uh, the potatoes have enough starch in them. So, um, you know, they will uh, stick and they will cook right through. So that's all you're doing. So what I have here is a uh, just a pan coming up on heat right now. Uh, you can use a non-stick pan like here, or you can use a, a regular pan, stainless steel, or you can use a cast iron, it's your choice. I like to use a non-stick pan because it uh, releases really easily and it's more convenient for me. And that's what most people at home would be using right now. So best thing is to put in nice butter in here. Roll it down, and so that the butter doesn't burn, a little bit of oil, and butter and potato. Best mixture ever. Take your potatoes and just start putting them in. They should start to sizzle and that's the right way to make the wasti. And I like to make a big wasti. You can make dollops but uh, I just like to go ahead and do this. Don't move around too much and leave it in this pan just the way it is without pressing it for at least 10 minutes or so until the bottom is nice and crispy. Alright, so when you think you're ready to turn, take like a small flat uh, spatula over here and just check the bottom, you know, just to make sure that it's uh, nice and uh, golden at the bottom. And that's what we want and to flip it is really easy but before we do that you can do a couple of things we need some fat on the bottom as well so you can take a little bit of fat like this you can put that or what I suggest is take a little bit of more butter and just sort of add it right here so what's going to do is when that pan is going to when it's going to uh, flip all that is going to melt and take a little bit of oil as well not too much just so 
and get some browning on this side too. Uh, you can also use clarified butter, by the way. That's also really nice in this. Here, look, I've done this. I've made a small batch over here, just so I can show you that uh, it can be done in a small pan too. So when you're ready to, so when you're ready to flip, take any one of the plates or anything that can fit in there. Just put that on top. Okay, right here. Put your hand firm. Just look the sides. Look at that beautiful brown color. That's absolutely amazing. And that's what you want. So once it's cooked from the other side as well, just flip it just the way I showed you. And this is what it should look like. Absolutely delicious. If you want to put the pretty brown side up, that's perfectly fine. Nobody's going to judge you as long as it's fully cooked and that's what matters. And this is what it is, you guys. Extremely simple uh, process how to make rosti. And this goes amazing with uh, breakfast, with eggs, with some uh, stews, some meaty stews like beef stew or something. It goes really good. It goes really well with um, any creamy dishes as well. Uh, enjoy.